Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, so we're gonna do a bunch of mercenary uh, combine. Let's see. Usually what I like to do is I like to combine two warriors, two defenders and things like that. The same, uh, basically the same class to, to guarantee you the exact same result. For example, two three star warriors will give you a four star warrior for sure. Uh, defender, I don't have one, so I do have Magician, so we're gonna take Valona and that is up here. Alright, so Defender, yeah, so Hewnwall and Julie, and Arinus and Claris. Okay, so this should do the trick, let's see. Uh, one 4 star Warrior, one 4 star Magician, and two 4 star Supporters. None of them are leveled all are level one okay let's go who do i have orian oh wow okay kyle who do i have supporters anais and vincent okay pretty cool all right so let's talk a bit about mystic island regarding the trading post which you can click right here and what you should purchase every single day all right so this is what i purchase daily definitely uh mystic dusts are kind of rare depending on whether or not you farm them but even if you farm every day i don't think you will have enough mystic dust to purchase every single item on this list right here daily so i've tried that before it's not possible you have to choose and i'm here to help you decide which is the one that you should go for which is the better one all right so yours might be different depending on the days it resets and things like that obviously it's never the same items every single day but on most occasions you will have at least the rank up stars or the slimes as the first uh priority as the option on the most left option occasionally uh, not often you do get some premium scrolls if you do see them definitely go for them those are worth worth the purchase the rank up stars definitely worth it as well so rank up stars and premium scrolls if you see them definitely get them uh, in terms of slimes that's gonna depend usually slimes i've seen emerald slimes i've seen some blue slimes as well but most of the time emerald slimes uh, if you farm a lot from the event dungeons those are not such a high priority but i do purchase them as well because i always have spare mystic dust but if you struggle and if you occasionally always run out definitely try and skip the slimes because slimes are not as rare as premium scrolls and rank up stars all right and then we have the second one which is the three star mercenary this one i would highly suggest you avoid buying it at all because it's just a waste of your mystic dust uh, it's not worth to buy any of the 3 stars or 4 stars actually but uh, I do occasionally purchase the 4 stars if I want to like max them out plus 9 them if I'm like so close to a particular mercenary then yeah I would definitely go for it but on most occasions this one I would skip and so in my case this is a Mercedes piece definitely I'm not going to buy that so 4 star assault rune, uh, these runes, usually the 4 stars, I would try to avoid buying them. I highly recommend avoiding using dual runes. Uh, if you want like the best result, most of the time people usually go for the single runes. Those give more boost in the total stat that you want compared to uh, having to gamble on what you are getting as the secondary stat. In this case, we, we know that this is a 4 star assault rune piece but we don't know the secondary stat so it could be shield it could be fatal it could be rage it could be crit rate uh, hp you know it could be anything so yeah definitely not worth the gamble so horseshoes definitely buy them every time you see horseshoes in the mystic islands these are worth the buy so highly recommended buy them stock them up keep them in your inventory in your inbox and during the weekends open them up so you have plenty of horseshoes to farm the event dungeons for slimes or gold so that's what you should be doing every single day so in terms of the four star mercenaries featured 
as I mentioned earlier. Occasionally, I do buy them, so it's going to depend on the specific mercenary that's available right now. So Rydal, I would skip this for sure. But usually, if you have like very close in achieving one of the fusion right here, for example, let's say uh, Zakan right here. Zakan is 400 out of 60, 400 out of 625. So you might consider buying. Uh, 50 pieces every single time you see it so that you can complete a zakan or a charcoal so yeah something to keep in mind but most of the time uh, it's quite expensive especially if you are new to the game and you don't have that many mystic dust i would say uh, skip them if you don't have the mystic dust just keep buying the four star mercenary 4300 uh, mystic dust that's quite costly if you buy them every single day uh, you're gonna run out of Mystic Dust soon enough. Alright, so the 4 star skill book pieces, these are the, I would say, the third priority that you should get. Alright, so definitely purchase them if you have spare Mystic Dust. If you farm every single day, you should have no difficulty buying the 4 star skill book pieces or the 5 star skill book piece as well. Alright, so the 5 star skill book. You can only purchase them once a month and i believe it costs 75,000 mystic dust if i am not mistaken it should be around 70,000 to 75,000 which is quite a lot but you have over the course of one month to gather the amount of mystic dust to purchase it so you should try and buy it every single month it's a monthly thing once a month so do not skip buying the five star skill book you should always buy it all right, so that should be your priority. Uh, try and farm out as many Mystic Dust as you can. Priority number one is to purchase the five star skill book. All right, the five star skill book pieces is the priority number two. You should buy this. Uh, it's actually quite expensive if you look at the price to piece ratio. 1,500 for 10 pieces. In that case, it's like 150 per piece. So it can be quite costly but since 5 star skill books are so rare you should just buy them anyway yeah that's pretty much sums it up usually uh, always put priority in the 5 star skill books 5 star skill book pieces 4 star skill book piece all right so these three things should be your main priority so the assault rune piece in this case uh, usually i wouldn't recommend buying the runes at all uh, if you want runes go ahead and farm them in the rune temples you know try your best to do auto battles right there it's so easy to farm runes i don't see why you would want to purchase these pieces right here for mystic dust it's such a waste so yeah you should give these three things the priority the skill books followed by the horseshoes and lastly by whatever is on the first most left usually slimes rank up stars or premium scrolls uh, slimes is going to depend on individual if you need materials if you need slimes to level up your mercenaries go ahead but if or else if you're trying to save up together for the five star skill book those should be your priority all right so let me purchase the horseshoes let me purchase the rank up stars to make fodders easier okay so let's have a look at the updates apparently we are having a couple of interesting updates uh, New mercenaries will be added tomorrow after the maintenance. We have Yuri, Walia, and Akka. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Alright, so basically no skills yet, but Yuri apparently is a 5-star warrior. Deals damage to multiple enemies in the front. Doesn't seem that impressive based on the skill uh, since it's like a front-based warrior, but multiple enemies. We'll have a look at the range. If it's similar to, I don't know, something like Gunter's one, I guess she's usable for sure. Walia, very interesting, 5-star supporter who has high defense ability. Can't wait to see uh, what she is all about. She's the Flute Lady, that's what they call her in the Korea and Japan server. I think she is one of the most sought after and most used uh, supporter besides Venaka. So yeah, quite interesting. I'm quite interested to, to see her for sure. And then we have Akka of Wilderness, 4 star defender, deals burn damage to enemies who attack him. Uh, this guy is kind of unique, I guess. But yeah, hopefully, we'll get to have a look at these skills 
soon enough. I doubt he will be like extremely broken or strong or anything like that. None of the four stars are. But yeah, we'll just have a look. DOT, burn damage. Not a big fan of those. So yeah, we will have renewal for Hijin, Helena and Richnet as well. Can't wait to have a look at their skills as well. What will they change? Uh, so yeah, let's check out their current skills first. Oh well, it's too late. Maintenance is on. Well, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, have a nice day. Goodbye.